and thanks for watching CMTV. As always at this time, your tech takes the airwaves. This comes to you live from Hotel Goshen here in Eldoret. I'm Marius Kimboy, and tonight I have other women in the house. From my extreme left, we have Honorable Antonina Makoba, famously known as Aush, who is running for an MCS seat in Kimumu Ward. That is in Moiben constituency in was in Gishu County. Next to her, we have Honorable Sarah Malel, who is also running for the same seat in Kimumu Ward in Moiben constituency, that is in was in Gishu County. And of course, next to me on my right is Honorable Sally Chikwech Lagat, who is eyeing the MCS seat in Soy Ward, that is in Soy constituency. All of them within was in Gishu counties. Karibuni Sana Weshimewa for this program. Uh, let me begin with uh, Honorable Awush, uh, Makoba, that is, you know, the, the name is so famous, Awush, but our official name is uh, Antonina Makoba. Uh, why are you going for this seat of MCA in Kimumuad? Thank you, Mr. Kemboy. I'm going for this seat because in Kimumuad we need change. Because we have seen so many challenges in Kimumuad, that's what has made me come for this seat because we need change in Kimumu. Can, can you mention these changes? Uh, maybe you feel like this is what is supposed to change? For example, when it comes to bursary disbursement yeah, of, the, of the funds, we need equal disbursement of the bursary among our youths, among the, the, the really poor people, poor people in, the, in the world. Those are the people who are vulnerable to get these, uh, these, these bursaries. Do you mean the current leadership or the leadership before has been doing it not in equal uh, terms? It has been doing, but it, it was not really as the people needed. That's why I needed to change and buy for it so that we can make everything become equal. And remember, in Kimumu world, it's a cosmopolitan area. Uh -huh. So we need to make everything be as equal as the people need. Okay. Mwishimiwa Sarah, this Kimumu word, and I'm happy two women are already in the same show, running for the same position. Do you, how do you feel? Do you feel like women can bring this change that uh, Mwishimiwa Makoba is talking about? And what is it pushing you to go for this seat? Me personally, Kimboy, thank you for this opportunity, but uh, I want to pre declare here today that I'm not running as a woman, but I'm running as a leader to offer the, le the leadership that I feel that is missing currently in our area, of which uh, there is a little bit of discrimination, equity of resources not being distributed to the, to the standard that we expect our people to get, and maybe those ones who have been neglected in society, just like the single mothers and our widows, who are really crying and they have nothing to do. We know here in Kenya today, we don't have job opportunities that is enough for each and every one of us. But it is my prayer that when given this opportunity, I'll serve my people by looking for something, economic support to support our young women and young youth to maybe be self-employed and start up some small businesses to sustain themselves as we look for white collar jobs. I like that she's not going there as a woman, but she's going there as a leader. What a credible information. I wish you were Sally. So you would, why are you going for this MCA seat? Yes, uh, thanks, Mr. Kimboy. I, I am Sally Chepoich Lagat from So you would. I I'm going for this uh, seat uh, because our people uh, are going to be able to do this. I'm going to be wamenyanyaswa. Sasa huyu mama amejitokeza 2017. Anataka afanye change. Wanasema vitu vichenjanga. Hey. Huyu mama atafanya mabadiliko kwa nyanja zote. Ndio. Which, which change are you talking about, yes. Mheshimiwa? Uh, like 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 my MCS from Moiben constituency, uh, mambo na education. Education uh, our people, our our our, our pupils a vulnerable pupils, the ovens, a watoto in families on your GWC, who our baby bursaries, Kutosha, Unapata Mwanafunzi, when you are family, when you are a Jesa, when I pay five thousand, I love Mwanafunzi when you are orphaned, 
ana pewa 5000 that is not equality eh yeah. sasa nikishika hii kiti wakinipea hii kura ndafanya equality kwa education watoto watasoma mzuri sana I like that because all of you, you are talking about equality. Does it mean that this is a value that is in mothers more than fathers or men? Mwishimi Makoba. Remember, thank you, Mr. Kemboi. Remember, as a woman, we, we are not going for, for this seat because we, we need jobs. We are just going it because we are servant leaders. Now that you are a servant leader, I, we want to lead as we can lead in our houses because the burden lies on us women, especially the women in Kimumu ward. The burden lies on us. So that when we equalize this the issue of disbursement of, you know, of bursaries or of any other funds, it can make a change in any other area like Kimomo Ward. Uh -huh. uh, Sara, now you are going there, not, not as a woman, but as a leader. And being a leader takes a lot of information, takes a lot of issues to deal with. Have you ever been a leader before, or have you ever led any group so that you can feel that you are really that leader you are talking of? Of course, this is not the first opportunity that maybe I will be given. I've served in different areas. Uh, as much as uh, I've not been serving in, uh, in, the, in, in the political office, but I've quite managed to represent our young people, our, our people in the informal sector, the Juakali sector, where we, we've helped them to form an organization known as the Loret East organization, uh, Association, which later on formed a circle that has enabled our, our, our young people down there who are doing Juakali work to access more funds to assist them in their, in their business. That is your, that is your, your yeah, mentality. Yeah. And you <laughs> made it the, the day it looks now it is courtesy of you. It is courtesy of us, of course. And I, I, we, are, we were privileged that we were serving in the same office with my, your, your, my your, worthy your, competitor. <laughs> We were working in that office. I was the treasurer. She was the secretary by then. Uh, but we have also worked in many sectors, maybe helping women in a, helping women in my area, Kimumu, uh, uh, as per se, and helping women to access small financial to start up their small businesses. Just as I've told you, we here in Kimumu, we are not farmers, but we are we are business people. Who, who because here we don't we don't do farming very much as much as we have the very urban small farmers around here. Uh, we have helped quite a lot that they have gotten small funds from an organization known as Etekemoy, community-based organization. And those funds have helped those women and the young people to start up small businesses to, to maybe to send children back to school. Yeah. Uh, Sally, uh, at Kimumu they are not farmers, so they will not talk about farming. But I believe so, there are farming activities going on. What are you planning for these farmers? And if you may highlight for us what you have done, maybe you feel like you are the very best person for this seat because your, co co your, your, your colleagues are talking about leadership. What have you done in the leadership in any category within this nation or even abroad? And what are you planning for these farmers in Soiko? Uh, so you are that is in Soiko cities. Yes, thank you, Mr. Kimboy. Uh, it's not farmers only, but uh, I am a leader all round. Uh, I, am, I am a teacher. So, kwa uh, wadiangu, wakulima, sana sana wa mama. Nime form groups wako kwa groups, alafu wana, wanafanya table banging, wananunua seeds, o, wapande mboga, kwa sababu hii mboga inakuwa kwa miezi miwili, wanauza, alafu wanajimarisha. Alafu wanasanya tena pesa, ikifika wakati wa kupanda mahindi, huo wanakotesha shamba pamoja, kila groups. Nime form karibu 11 groups in my ward, na huo wanajisaidia kwa wakulima. Na eh, beyond that, Ua, ua, ua natafuta sponsorship kwa watoto wenye wajiwezi. E, niko na watoto wa, wa tano, saizi wanaenda university. E, moja anaenda Maseno University, mungina anaenda Echaton University, wenye tumefanya kwa hii miradi. E, yeah. And uh, when you talk of uh, you help them kupata mbegu, kupanda mboga, uwa unawatafutia maybe market of that produce? Yes, there is ready market because... Uh, 
most of the farmers in Soi were were mind. Sasa group said ndio ina ina supply mboga kwa hii center. Uh, it's red, red market. And when you are looking for that sponsorship for these uh, students who are going for campuses, as you mentioned, I, we appreciate that because education is backbone, back, uh, the, the background of everything in human life. Did you do that with the intention of joining politics or how did you do that? No, I have done, it was uh, 20, 2012 when these people joined Form 1 and they got sponsorship from Form, from 1 up to Form 4. Yes, yes. Na siku hiyo si kwa nime, ingawaje 2013, nilijaribu, nikakuwa number three. Nilijaribu politics, lakini pili nitaftia watoto sponsorship, si kwa natafuta kwa sababu nataka politics. Hii politics inakuja tu, because in in me, I am a leader. Yes, yes. Now, umweshimiwa Makoba, mmm, we understand that Kimimuad is a cosmopolitan, even uh, I can say metropolitan environment. And of course, in such areas, we have issues of security. There are a lot of insecurities. What are you planning for that? In the areas of security, Mr. Kemboi, if we can engage our youth in so many, so we can engage them in so many nini, Yani tukiwa engage in so many shuguli kama biashara, like sasa, to make them busy. We can even nature their talent so that they can be busy somewhere. We can deal with the security issues. Because when they are idle, they become, they are, they are tempted to do something which is very wrong. When you talk about nurturing talents, how are you going to do that? And do you have the facilities to empower you to do that? As for now, I have no facilities, but when I'm elected, I'll, I'll push for that so that my youth in Kimomo Ward are, are trained that, so that their talents can be nurtured, so that they can do something else to help them. And uh, now, Mwishmiwa Sara, given that Kipchoge Stadium, which is looked at from everybody, in fact, within East Africa, people are looking at Kipchoge. How are you planning to use that facility to empower at least 80% of the youth and the talented people within Kimumu Ward, given a chance to be the MC. Yeah, given a chance, that is not the only facility that we, our youth are currently using. We also have the, our good well-wishers who have given us that field also there at Marura Primary School, University of Eldoret also, are not chasing away our young people. They can train there, whether they are sportsmen or they are, they are doing sports in ball, ball games or whatever manner but we will maximize we will maximize Kipchaga Stadium when it is ready and always push to be given that space for our youth to participate in sports in that area so that they engage in uh, activities that they give them busy not them to result back into maybe engaging in drug abuse and maybe or maybe when they stay idle, you know, always the, de the idle minds are always the devil's workshop. And when we don't want to engage our young people doing something that is worth in their life, definitely there. Of course, insecurity also will rise because they, they are just idlers and they love to find something to put into their stomachs and they will find it through many means. So those insecurity issues, as you have just, just touched, here we have that security issue at uh, action area which is very rampant there. Our young people who have come to study and live near there, they are being slaughtered day and night in that area. So maybe we shall put flashlights also to minimize those insecurity issues during later hours and the areas along the highways, we put the security lights. And we also have to put the security lights because we want our economy to be a 24 hour economy. We don't want only people to work at daytime. We want also some other people to get opportunities during late hours. So when we install in security lights, our businesses will be on for quite some some time to the late to the late night. What what is, what is your plan on that, Mushimiwa Sara? For sure, education is the key, the greatest equalizer, and that is what for the foundation is more important than even the the finishing end. So we'll make sure that. From the, from the word go, that teacher who is 
teaching in ECD is being remunerated well and being taken and maybe even be given sponsorship some other times to, to, to pursue further education so that they can be motivated when they are doing their work because we really want them to build our children so that we can improve our education. If you, if you see in Kimomo, generally, the, the passing of our children is still down simply because the foundation is completely out. And we feel now that the function of ECD is, is in the county government. Now that we will be elected into that county government, we shall do legislation to empower those who are dealing with them and maybe allocate a few resources there to feed even the children so that they don't go home even. <laughs> because as you can understand, I like that. About this foundation of children, what are you planning for the people of Kimemo? And you know, of course, if you put that, it is for the entire county of Wasingishu. As my Mwishmu has said, foundation is the key. Mm. So we must also nurture our children, mm. and we must also, and we must also, yani tuape motisha walimuetu. In such a way that we must also, yani tuatete so that wa, wapate mshara mzuri. Mm. It's like a motivation. Mm. So that, badala mwalimu afanya biashara kidogo ni akimbie shuleni, mm. afocus kwa education. Mm. So that the more, the more anatoka kwa nyumba subui mapema, anajua anaenda kupata something whereby he can, he or she can also feed his family well, mm. na anafocus kwa shule. Mm. Uh, of course, my director is telling me we are supposed to be taking a short break. Remember, this is your take and comes to you live from Hotel Goshen here in Eldoret. And tonight I have women in the house who are going for MCA seats in their respective wards. From my extreme left, I have Honorable Antonina Makoba, who is going for an MCA seat in Kumumu Ward. Her uh, competitor or her colleague in Kumumu Ward also is uh, Honorable Sarah Malel. And of course, uh, on my extreme right, I have Honorable Sally Chepkoech, who is going for an MCA seat in Soy Ward, that is in Soy Constituency. All of them are within the county of Wazingishu. We are taking a short break. We'll be back shortly. Don't move away. <laughs> 